Oh, um, welcome back to Camping Buddies, episode 20. <laughs> you had one fucking job. I did it. Oh, um, uh... You did do it, good job, but also, <laughs> you were like, oh, wait, yeah, right, me, yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Didn't even realize, or... Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Great intro. Uh, Thanks. Moon Knight, boys, Moon Knight. Moon Knight. Kelly, take it um, away. I know you've been dying to talk about this. What is Moon Knight? You guys have talked about it, and I don't actually know what it is. He's it's the, the new Marvel show. He's the guy who's got it all. Multiple personality disorder. Mental health issues. Um, Relatable. That's Which part? <laughs> <laughs> Which part um, of that is relatable, Hunk? Definitely the mental um, health issues. Yes. To the <laughs> so you're actually talking to real people right now? It's the. It, have you guys ever heard of Moon Knight before this movie or show came out? I have. No, I, I never know heard too of too him. much about him, but I have heard of him prior to this. It's just hard to get excited for something you know nothing about. I think that's actually yeah, what I mean, makes it exciting for me. Like I didn't know anything about yeah. uh, Mando. No one knew anything about Mando. Well, he was an original character made for that show specifically. Right. Uh, I see what mm. you're saying. Yeah, so, like, if, if he, like, pre-exists and you don't know anything about him, it's kind of hard. But, I mean, like, think about this, like, Shang-Chi. Like, no one really knows who the fuck that was. Right. Yeah. I mean, I find it exciting because it's, like, um, what, years ago, like, I had no idea anything about any Marvel stuff at all. And then all the Avengers movies came out and stuff, and I was learning more about it. And then I found out that it was, like, this whole big universe. Like, there's so much more that I had no idea about. And there's, now there's like yeah. more stuff coming out and out, and I'm just learning more about it, finding out how much bigger it is than I originally thought, and it just keeps going. And that I was think like, it's pretty fucking cool. That's why I think I actually really enjoyed Daredevil, is because I knew nothing about Daredevil except that he existed uh, prior mm -hmm. to the actual series, and I I fucking loved Daredevil. And Daredevil. You never still saw Ben Affleck's same. movie? God no, <laughs> fuck no. <laughs> I He's like still trying it. to sell that. For some reason, for those who don't know, Hector just likes bad things, so he tried to sell that to me and Kelly that that's like a good movie. I'd... I saw it. They unironically un played that one yes, song. Like, Can you hear my thing into my <laughs> Wait, they played oh. like, Open Door. Is that one? Wake Pretty. me up, wake me up. It's yeah. Right. They played they unironically played that song. Oh my fucking god. That's awful. Um, it's a good song. But when I said, like, you know nothing about it, it's like, you don't know any of the villains, you don't know anyone who's, like, related to Moon Knight, so it's, yeah. like, kind of hard to, like, pinpoint them on where you put them in the MCU. It's yeah. also interesting with all these characters that we don't know the background of as well. Like, once you start figuring stuff out, like, and so, like, with Daredevil, as soon as Daredevil came out and, like, I was super into it, I was, like, more obligated to, like, read the comics and stuff like that. And then you just find out more and more, like, these characters that you didn't really pay attention to before are, like, heavily, uh, heavily attached to, like, Spider-Man. Like, Deadpool and Spider-Man, fucking dynamic duo. Didn't know this, Moon Knight and Spider-Man, dynamic duo. He really likes his ladies oh. for some reason. Um, <laughs> Daredevil and Spider-Man, pretty good duo. Um, but if you have to lean on a character for relatability, then also not very good no i think it's just like i think it's just like the fact that you didn't know that they're like there's like this dynamic duo like you know spider-man oh. everyone knows spider-man but then it's like oh wait moon knight is like heavily involved with spider-man in in the comics that's crazy like that's cool i don't know i think have it's you, cool have you guys watched moon knight yet i, I yeah i caught up today <sighs> to be honest there are, I think they're in episode four already, and I think they're halfway through the show. I'm already mm -hmm. bored. <laughs> I'm just, I'm like waiting for like a cameo or something because this is not yeah. getting my attention. See, I like the first two episodes. I thought they were pretty cool. Um, probably because I didn't know anything about the night beforehand. Um, but yeah, the the thing that I don't like about like not knowing anything about a character when they get a show beforehand is like, I don't know how accurate they're being and how, like 
how good it is. Like, I don't know, I'm just not the best judge of but, the quality of it. But to a rebuttal to that, did you ever like love the Flash or Green Arrow uh, series? Um, in the beginning, yeah. See, in the beginning, and then you learn mm, that like... it's not, and then you learn that it's not accurate. It's completely not accurate. But if you didn't even give a shit to look, even would you still from like it? Yeah, no, they did. The, they did just go down. They went down the hill with accuracy and yeah. other shit. But like, um, that's just like a good example. Like, I loved Arrow. <laughs> at first because i didn't know anything about green arrow you mm. read the comics the it doesn't even fucking exist it's like it's insane um mm. see arrow yeah. i didn't even know it was dc until like a couple seasons in like when the flash came in when the flash he had cameo around there yeah yeah i also thought it was weird how like you never they never talk about stuff uh prior like when they met uh batwoman like apparently Batman was a thing in their Earth, but they never like they... talked about it. They're like, I was the original vigilante. It's like I don't know, the Batman was kind of a thing. It's like okay, buddy. Hmm. So, huh. I don't know but, that. But Superman was a different thing. So like it, it was a different Earth. So like it, it made like no sense a lot yeah. of the time. It was really just another CW. But wonder. when they had the Supergirl series that was with the flash right so that was a different and they had oh yeah so supergirl's on a completely separate earth uh flash so flash went through dimensions he can go through dimensions oh and so like he he ironically when he came in she was falling off of a building which she didn't need she didn't need his help obviously because she could fly but like funny enough he was running through dimensions on accident ran up caught her and was like yo um hi <laughs> so that's how they do it yeah yeah pretty, pretty See, i think stuff. it's weird because like so the flash thinks he's the fastest alive but then he is like not. <laughs> yeah like him and superman like have raced before and shit right they never had a conclusive end to it because there's always like a problem the justice league be- thing oh. yeah, yeah no, they, there sure. was like a there was a you know and i think it was justice league unlimited that is where they also raced um they fucking there's always like a problem in between the race and so they never finish it therefore there's no winner mm. but like very mm. clearly it's fucking yeah, flash if, if flash can run through dimensions in time you I've like obviously. I've never seen yeah. Superman do that shit. Yeah, Superman has t- has turned back to Jesus Christ. He Remember did me? save Lois. But... Oh my God, I'm gonna close my window really quick. Yeah, I remember you know, him I'm flying sure. around the Earth to like reverse its spin. Yeah, that's that's what I remember. <laughs> I've heard that like, um, they're gonna do like a Marvel thing to where they're gonna get like all their assets together so they can make a good cohesive universe instead of like CW has some and then some other people have some it's like they're just going to gather all that assets so they can do like a Marvel type thing like you know like Marvel had stuff at Netflix and Hulu and stuff it's like nope it's going to be all in Mm -hmm. one house I think DC is Mm -hmm. going to do that like you mean like as a subscription thing or like they're going to like revamp the series to kind of match that just so ever they have everything they can do to like make a good multiverse or could make a good universe for DC because all of it's spread out fucking crazily. Yeah, yeah, it is right. None of the stories actually go together. That's why I just like I, like Jesse's talking about like how good Batman was. I just don't want to fucking watch Batman. Like one, there's like three reasons I don't want to fucking watch Batman. One, it's a DC movie. You're like lame. I literally cannot fucking give a shit. I can give a shit less about a DC movie right now. Two, it's a Batman movie. Why do we need more fucking Batman shit? Just make it about a character. Like just make it about the fucking Flash. That would bring people in. Flash is like the Spider Man of DC. Everyone loves mm-hmm. the fucking Flash. Three. Yeah. It's another fucking Batman movie with the Joker. Even if he's a small part, he was there. It was like fucking stop. I would it's... have to admit the Joker part was very like shoehorned in for no fucking reason. But the Batman movie, I loved. He's my new favorite Batman. 
Robert Patterson. I'm sure he's a good really? Batman. Have Christian Bale mm-hmm. or Robert Patterson's my favorite Batman. Really? He's so fucking good in that role, and he's just like he's not like a big chunky Batman. He's a lean fucking. He's a lean yeah. machine. I really fucking hated. So was Christian Bale. Yeah. <laughs> I, really, I know what Christian you're talking Bale about. The chunky Christian Bale wasn't bulky. Not, he was cut. Christian Bale did not age well as Batman because of his voice, his raspy like <laughs> type thing. It just gets annoying quick. Yeah, um, I feel that. Uh, I still think that Batman. I think it was like being, iconic though. Well, yeah, a lot of people like anytime they talk about Batman, they always do it in the deep voice. I think because mm-hmm. of that movie, because mm-hmm. like yeah. any other Batman just sounded like Bruce Wayne. Or whatever. Right. Like, it was just his normal voice. Like, it wasn't Bruce Wayne was also going, hello. <laughs> like, no. And uh, Robert Pattinson's Batman has still a lot to learn. And I think it's his second year being Batman. He has to juggle yeah. Bruce Wayne and Batman correctly to mm-hmm. pass off as to keep his identity secret. And right. he has to keep in tune with both of them to kind of keep Gotham. Like, he's in the loop for Gotham. That's one of his downfall mm-hmm. in the movie. But... So one of the complaints I've heard about Batman is that while he's a really good Batman, he's not a very good Bruce Wayne. That's what I've, that's what I I've think it's told. how it was written because there was he's still like moody and mopey as Bruce Wayne in there. Which, yeah, I, I think it's justified. It's something he has to learn. He has to learn to be the playboy that yep. everyone kind of perceives him to be. Right. So is he so another question i have is this at all like is this just like the start of a revamp is this no, where the revamp starts universe. uh so we is still it like a solo movie like... think of it as like michael keaton's run as batman that's like not really canonical in any dc universe thing it's just its own run being batman which i think is cool um yeah it muddies up the waters for the universe but like Who's really keeping track of that kind of shit? Did it actually yeah, show no the Joker? Bad. No. In the so, cut movie that we saw in theaters, no. So could it have been Joaquin Phoenix's Joker? Because no. that would kind of make sense. Like, I thought it was um that one guy... redhead guy from Shameless. No. Uh, the guy playing as Joker and the the Batman? was the guy in Eternals. The guy who can control minds. Oh, right, right, right. I think I heard that, actually. What? Mm-hmm. Really? I still don't, like, I still, so, I'll watch it, I guess. It's just, I'm <laughs> I'm upset that it's Yes, I convinced about... you. No. <laughs> no, you didn't. No. Yeah. The things, I liked the vehicles in it. The Batmobile and his motorcycle. Mm-hmm. Sick as fuck. I was told the that the Batmobile back cable, was literally I did like, just a car with like it's a, a muscle car with a tuned it's up got engine. A fucking jet Ooh. engine on it, dude. Yeah, is that really the Batmobile? It's yes. better than a Bat Tank, like it's been for like. Oh, you mean like the Tumbler? Yeah. <laughs> the Tumbler. Mm-hmm. Oh. I thought that was kind of a cool Batmobile. It seemed to make sense. I mean, like it was. It made it work, yeah. And shit, yeah. Mm. It's pretty cool. I like the Bat Cave. Um, the grappling hooks were fucking big, sick of shit. Yeah, that was cool. Catwoman was cool. Mm. Catwoman uh, looked goofy as oh, hell. What are Riddler. you talking about? Catwoman? She looked so goofy. What was it? She looked like she fucking crocheted that little mask of hers, and like just like. Mm. like She's oh, not from money like Bruce Wayne is. I think it makes sense for her. Like, she got a full-on fucking leather suit. Like, how are you going to get that shit? And, like, what else? Yeah, she's a thief. I think it's cool. It's like a burglar mask. And it it's kinda, a burglar the mask that kinda... shows the entire face. Well, Selena Kyle wasn't really about hiding her identity. I think everyone knows her name. It's just, at that point, like, why are you even wearing cat ears, you know? I don't think she, she gotta was. keep up the marketing. Yeah, she's right. a cat she burglar. Could, she gotta sell a t-shirt somehow. I don't know. Make a living. 
Yep. See, I just, I don't know. Like, I've heard a lot of mixed shit about Batman, and I'll watch it, I guess. It's just like, like I said, I'm just so tired of fucking Batman and Batman shit. Like, everyone likes Batman, sure, but, like, stop it. Like, just make it about anyone else. Like, you know what? I like Shazam. I liked Shazam. Shazam's having oh, its yeah. own movie. Oh, yeah, Shazam was good. Wait. Your hand is a movie. I was thinking yeah. of Black Adam. Yeah, Black Adam, that's going to be The Rock, I think. I'm not the Rock, watching yeah. That. I'm not watching that. <laughs> it's yeah. a DC movie mixed with a wrestler. I'm not watching that. It's like, peace. it's fucking Peacekeeper. I'm not watching it. Fuck. Yeah, that's literally um, John Cena. <laughs> yeah. That's so dumb. That's what, another reason why Suicide Squad just absolutely dogs. Yeah, the Suicide second movie Squad was too. not as good as the first one, in my opinion. Girl, what? It's definitely that is Suicide Squad one, slander. That is I slander thought coming out of your mouth. It definitely that chick with the rats was funny. Her and that shark dude. Suicide the rest of the movie Squad. mediocre. Yeah. Really I didn't like it that much. Oh, I loved it. Well, no one liked. No one likes Suicide Squad. I don't. Well, unless Kelly just well, said he did. But did like, anyone um, watch Birds of Prey? Yeah. Oh God! Shut the fuck yeah. up. They destroyed Black Canary. Just get out. I didn't watch it, and like since release, I haven't heard shit about it. Mm, Honestly, yeah. it was good. Very female empowerment type thing. Uh, See, right, they can't like course. force that. No, but they, can't, like, <laughs> they can't like force it down your throat. That's the only thing. I I'm all I, for female what are you empowerment. Acting from a movie with all women as the. I'm expecting it to feel like a normal movie. Like, you know how Black Widow was? They didn't shove that shit down your throat, in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, that's that. We can argue about that. But I think uh, it can't be shoved down your throat. Look at Ratcatcher. She kind of saved the day with her rats. Um, that was cool, yeah. And and it felt fine. Like, it didn't feel like it was, like, forced or anything. She was just was, there at the right mm-hmm. place at the right time. Like... That movie had emotion, it was funny, it had a lot more character development, it had a fucking structured body to work off of. The first one really didn't. Um, the sequel had great fucking characters. I loved Ratcatcher, I loved Polka Dot Man, I loved Harley Quinn, I loved Bloodsport. They were all fucking good. Did you really honestly look me in the eyes and tell me the line, yeah, unless it's sick as fuck, shit, he's right. It's a cool line. Yeah, I mean, that's a bit cheesy. It's <laughs> cheesy to the fucking max. But the rest of the movie, I liked. I can overlook that kind of stuff. I can't. I That's, that's like looking over Boba Fett, honestly, Kelly. You, you, you and me were intellectuals when it came to Boba Fett. We pointed out everything wrong. We could literally write a book about that shit. And you're defending Suicide Squad? I don't yes. think... I think the second was one was movie. for sure better than the first one. Absolutely. No, like, hands down, absolutely. Still a shitty movie. Absolutely. There's no, like... It's not even a debate. Still a shitty movie. Honk, be the tiebreaker here, please. No, I hated it. <laughs> you guys are uh, uncultured. That was really good. I loved it. Colin likes it. He's Not on your fan. side. <laughs> okay, we, I have him. We'll stay in that side of the group. You guys, sit yeah, in your, that side of the group. You guys okay. can stay in your stand <laughs> fucking flash table. We'll, we'll stay on the intellectual side. <laughs> he just called you a dumb bitch. <laughs> a dumb bitch. Yeah. I don't know. We're um, we're far off the moonlight moon night track. Yeah, oh yeah, who is he? It's yeah, easy to dig into DC. <laughs> it's super easy to dig into DC. What's next? Um, I can dig on. into Moon Knight. I, I don't think, like okay, it. I want to say a couple things about Moon Knight. So okay. one, the voice of Konshu. I think is so stupid. Honestly, he sounds like the I have to go to work kind of <laughs> kind of shit. Um yeah, that's kind of dumb and then um I don't, I don't know, I just I like the concept of the Egyptian gods thing. It just confuses me a bit how there's like actual gods but all through like the rest of the MCU, it made it seem like there were no actual gods. Like what people thought were gods were actually just like regular outer beings like that right. like humans yeah. thought were gods. 
but now these are actual gods. I mean, Thor's a straight up god. Yeah. Well, no, he's not a god. He's someone from another world that humans perceived as a god. Yeah, like you remember. Like on his world, being, he's like... just a royalty guy. Like everyone on Asgard is like super fucking strong. They're just yeah. not his and, level. And like even Odin has been like, we're not gods. We live, we die, and Loki's like, give or take a few yeah. thousand years. Yeah. So like they're, they're not just a different gods. race. It's to yeah, they're just like an alien race. I think um what's it called? I feel like Kanchu might also just be like that, honestly. I could be wrong. I don't know too too much about Moon Knight or that in general. All I do know is that uh I, I like recently was watching like a few TikToks on Moon Knight. All I know is that he basically like dubbed uh Mark, his name is right. Mm-hmm. They basically dubbed him the Moon Knight or some shit like that, and like I As forgot why. So they are like they have physical forms within the world. Yeah, they have oh, like avatars okay. for like every other person. Yeah, so um, they're basically just, they just like possessing them. The villain is so boring. You guys know that villain? Know. The sandals and the glass. The dude, yeah. He's boring. Get him out of here. This guy ain't threatening. I don't know. What it, that I mean, he's not much. like the main villain yet, right? Isn't Amit supposed to be the main villain? Okay, get like a the devil. What's his name? Everyone's been shitting their pants over. Amit? The devil? The devil. Uh, from WandaVision. What's his name? Uh... I, that's too far back. I can't even remember what you're talking about. Well, Everyone thought I that he I would show up on division. What's his name? I, I can't fucking remember. I don't remember a devil from one division. There I, wasn't a devil in one division. It was I just feel... like everyone thinking he wasn't there. A cool uh, villain for Moon Knight would be Dracula. Eventually. That's a blade villain. Hmm. Yeah, but he owes Moon Knight money. Maybe that, that maybe that's how they combine them at some point when they make. They're supposed to make a new Blade, aren't they? I think they're making a new Blade movie. So like yeah. maybe that's how maybe yep. Moon Knight will cross with him. Like yeah, the bitch owes me money or some shit like that. I think they're in the same squad. I think they squad up sometimes. Squad up. Squad up. <laughs> I'd rather watch a fucking Blade TV show than a Moon Knight TV show. To be honest. Wow. Dude, Moon Knight's sick as fuck. I, I have to disagree. They call Moon Knight the Batman of Marvel, and I think I like that because we haven't shown him until Dude, just now. Dude, he literally did a Batman cape jump off of a building. Oh, it was like like a moon. That shit looks sick as fuck. Yeah, he had That's a moon good cape. Marketing. It was. I'm gonna uh, buy he's kind of cool. Up just because of that. <laughs> yeah. Alyssa, what do you think of Moon Knight? Is it a, is it a must watch or is it a fucking skip? Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't sound exciting based off of everything you guys have described so far. I, I liked the first couple episodes because it was like, it was kind of like a thriller in some scenes. Yeah, I it thought was it was scary. Cool. There was some scary in some parts. Fuck Donna. I hate that bitch. <laughs> yeah. That Donna's his like boss, and she's like <laughs> above and beyond just rude and nasty to yeah. Mark. Something his in the boss? Name. It's his wife. Something in the name. What? Same <laughs> shit, though. Oh, his boss at the museum. Okay. Mm, not what? Layla. I, not Layla. Okay, her name's Layla. Layla boring. Layla, Layla boring. Who? Thank you. Anyway, let's go to Love and Thunder. <laughs> Love Hell yeah. So I've dissolved and... too much brain cells for this. Me... <laughs> Jesus. Me and Hector talked a little bit about this already. We think that it's super interesting how with all the new Marvel stuff coming out, because if you watch the Love and Thunder trailer uh, that came out, you see... Um, what's his fuck? Uh, what's her fuck? Thor. It's female Thor. I forgot if she has like an actual name or not. Is it she Thor? It's just Thor. It's mighty Thor, but... Yeah. It's mighty. just Thor. So, like, he sees Thor... And so I talked to Hector, I was like, you know, it's very interesting how the old Avengers, besides Sam, are all just being replaced by women. And obviously Black Widow is their sister as well. But there's Kate Bishop, there's Thor, there's Ironheart, fucking, um... She-Hulk. 
She Hulk. Yeah, She Hulk. I mm-hmm. think it's very interesting. Like, it's fine. I don't have a problem with it. It's just as long as they don't, like, again, shove it in our face. Like, so, oh, we're is the Kate new Bishop, Avengers. Is Kate Bishop going to be part of, like, the Young Avengers, though? <laughs> yes. Or... Okay. She is considered the West Coast Avengers, but right, right. they'll probably just make her into a young Avenger. But they're going to have Wanda's kids, Hulkling, uh, I, uh, that one kid from Falcon and Winter Soldier. Yeah, the black kid. That's yeah. like... Yeah. Wait, what? Mm-hmm. He's going to be yeah. like Patriot or something. He's like the grandson of the the Black Captain America. That's like really. He was old. such a minor character. What the fuck? But he he was like a foreshadow. He was literally like got bullied by a Falcon. <laughs> like he was like it was a kid. He's like yeah, my grandpa's inside. Don't mess with him. He's like I'm mess with your grandpa. It's like okay. <laughs> He's like shoved aside security there. Like he's such a minor character. It was a foreshadow. I think they could yeah. do really cool stories with female Thor because uh, in the comics she had cancer and she had a lot of frustration build up because she felt very powerless and when she finally got the, the fucking what's what's that fucking hammer called? Mjolnir. Mjolnir. Wait, what um, was got, it? What is so, it that Paul Rudd said? Uh, fucking Jonathan, right? Jonathan. Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> when she wields Jonathan, she feels super fucking powerful, and she's like hungry for it. She has to stay in that form where her cancer will fucking kill her. Jesus. So Christ. she's not as guardian, right? No, that's Jane Foster. What? Mm-hmm. Jane Foster so, gets cancer. So I'm guessing this one is from a different dimension. No, nope, it's the it's the same Jane Foster. You're shitting my dick. I thought they took her out of the MCU because she just quit the role. They, they broke no, up that's without any explanation. And fucking... That was not Natalie Portman. That's Natalie Portman. What? I'm 100% serious. What the They fuck? built but her they, up to be. But they Thor. took her out like so nonchalant. Like they just, like someone said they broke but up. But then how could it be the same universe if Mjolnir is back? It's actually like, sh- if you look at the hammer, it's actually like it looks different, broken yeah. in pieces. It's cracked. So they probably built oh. it back together. Oh. What the fuck Aww. makes Jane Foster worthy? The fuck? I don't. I, to be honest, I really don't know. But now, maybe she doesn't have to be worthy now because it was broken. So maybe that like oath to it was broken. Maybe. Well, whoever holds the hammer, so like I guess a thousand people can be worthy, and she uh, so happens to be the one that's like worthy. You know what I mean? Hmm. Hmm. But, yeah, but also. I thought it might be a different dimension or something because Thor had both of his eyes again. They were both the same color, hmm. unlike before. I think that is very interesting that he found that out because, like, I literally don't even remember that being an issue. And yeah, that was uh, like the first thing you noticed. It's interesting. I noticed Hard that he thing. kissed a girl, but it wasn't Valkyrie, and I don't think it was Jane Foster. She looked a little brown. So I don't think it was um, Jane. Valkyrie's trying to look for a queen. Her name's King Valkyrie in the So a bunch of like toys mm. got leaked, right? Before Let's the trailer came out. Go. Oh yeah. Progressive. So well, we always King knew Valkyrie, Valkyrie was gay. I had no fucking idea. People are, are theorizing that it might be Captain Marvel. Oh, come on. You could do so much better. Oh, did you could do so much better. Get rid of her. Uh, God damn it, Val- yeah. There's no way Valkyrie's actor's on board with us. He's like, come on, guys. He- They're actually <laughs> supporting it. Brie Larson oh, and what's her name no. are actually supporting it. They just want oh. an excuse to less out. Well, then yeah. it's it's progression, but it's just going to be shoved in your fucking face. Because Brie Larson's involved. I mean, most Valkyrie was always gay. Like, you always knew that um, all the Valkyries were women. And uh, in the cutscene, not cutscene, the scene where it, like, it shows Valkyrie's past when she was getting killed by Hela, like, all the Valkyries. Right. Like, the one, there was the one person that, I don't know, Protect the other Valkyrie her. she was right. in love with, like, died right in front of her. Yeah, It's okay, true. China will that. fucking edit out all the gay stuff, so. <laughs> That's gonna be a big chunk of they're not even. They're not even gets a queen. A 
two minute movie. They're not even getting. <laughs> they're not even getting the fucking movie. Disney's like, we support gay rights. Look at our gay characters. Then China's like, we need you to have like a six second cutscene of kissing, and then we're gonna edit out. It's like, yes, Daddy China. <laughs> oh God, yes, Daddy, Daddy China. China. <laughs> I, I think it's a great idea to uh, push that in as long as you're not shoving it down someone's throat. If it feels if it feels normal, it's normal. If it feels forced, it feels fucked. Like doesn't have do we even have any other like gay characters in the MCU so far? Uh, the Eternals. Isn't Thor by? <sighs> you know what Kelly says. You're never gonna see that shit. Star Lord on paper is by, but we'll never yep. see it. We'll it never is. see it. Yep. It's not right to Chris Pratt, who's a Christian man, to kiss another man. Yeah, exactly. Who who in Eternals was gay? The black guy. He was able to make machines and stuff. Was he like on screen? Gay, oh yeah, he yeah. He had a husband and an adopted gay? son. Did they show them? He got rimmed yeah. on camera. It was hilarious. <laughs> he what? <laughs> <laughs> forgot about that part they had a tw- they had a lengthy five minute cut scene of or you have cut scenes stuck in my fucking head sex scene <laughs> had a sex scene a gay mm-hmm. sex scene in eternal got sloppy all right anyone want a movie night tonight i'm fucking down <laughs> <laughs> there's an actual sex scene in eternals an actual <laughs> sex scene well, from your perspective, being uh, gay, like, do you feel like it was a forced thing, or do you feel like it was pretty natural? You I think what? in Eternals it was very natural. It's just a character I don't really like, and I feel like they had to make a move sometime to like push a gay thing, and it's like, okay, we'll just do Eternals. We'll do something like that no one's really going to watch, because no one's really going to pay attention to it, so let's go make a little quick gay kiss. It's like okay, um, I really I don't care. just said they fuck. <laughs> um, it's like if a gay character comes on screen, that's their whole identity. It's a it's like the patch yeah. they wear on their sleeve, which I don't really like. I don't like that either. Like I feel like there's more to a character than their sexuality for starters, and if they are gay, all power to them, sure. But like, don't make that, that the main shouldn't. focus of the character. Like Unless, America like, Chavez that is the entire character. Like America Chavez in the new multiverse of madness, um, she wears a LGBT pin on her j- jacket, which I'm like, guys, like, this isn't really like. I just hate it when they're just screaming it out loud, Seriously? and they have to. Yep. It's like I don't wear mine on my sleeve. Like, why the fuck would I do that? Like, why would I want to be treated any differently? A lot of people do, though. More power to them, but it's just, that ain't me. Maybe it's just trying to to make it a positive message type thing. For the, I don't want to say the word brave at all, because that sounds so shitty. But (laughs) for the people that do have more guts to be more open about it in public like that, maybe it's just... More pride. Right, more pride. Sure. It's, They're just trying to push out like a, a be um more more prideful so that good luck in the world. Yeah. It's know. just it's just like it's not like none of us like support that. Like we all right. You know, like the three of you are fucking gay in some way. Fucking like it's not like we don't support it. It's just the fact that like like oh they address the oh they're gay that's cool and it's like oh they're still addressing that they're gay like five they've addressed that they're gay like five times like maybe they like... can't verbally express that they're gay maybe that's why she wears that pin just so people makes it clear but like why do you mm-hmm. need to make it clear like why is being gay matter at all yeah if it has character? nothing it yeah, shouldn't matter especially in the movie like if they don't if their lover or partner is not like like a big staple in the movie like someone they're coming home to like why the fuck would you even mention it like it doesn't make any fucking sense mm, yeah i get your argument but like the other half of it is that people are like oh there's just not enough representation of lgbt 
in movies and, and in shows and in like big name stuff like Marvel and shit like that. So what I think now they should there's do... now that it's being pushed, it's like being pushed in like bad ways, like ways that no one actually cares about. Netflix. Yeah. I've watched Sabrina the Teenage Wish and they shoehorned a, a black gay character for no goddamn reason other than to get people's butts in the seat. Yeah. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like I watched uh like a drag queen show, right? And they're like, We won't watch anything unless there's a gay character and I'm just like that's most likely why they're shoehorning like this little mm-hmm. little pride pin on America Chavez's jacket. Yeah. Like know. I think hey. it's funny we're I... I think it's funny we're talking about this when like Alyssa's got a love wins flag in the background this whole time. <laughs> Yeah, very gay. Yeah. <laughs> very <laughs> gay. I'm pushing my gay agenda on you guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, You're kind so of ruining I, my argument right now. <laughs> See, trying to be I, homophobic. Yeah, I know. We have to, we have to plug <laughs> in the gay to our podcast. Like, that's our plug right there. Like, why does she even need to have that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, honestly, I'm just pushing it too much. I'll take it down next time. Seriously, yeah, you're kind of forcing it down our throats. <laughs> Just here. change your fucking sexuality, Jesus Christ. I know. Oh my gosh, but no, like <laughs> I, I, I agree with you, kind of, Alyssa. I feel like um, if they were to make like an like a, I mean, Brie Larson's character was supposed to be, you know, the female empowerment and gay, but mm-hmm. it's like. I fucking hate Brie Larson, so like, let's do it with someone else. Let's let's mm-hmm. let's throw like, maybe even a cast of uh, homosexual superheroes. Like, I feel like there's definitely like a superhero out there, especially in the Marvel universe, that like fights for gay rights, and that wouldn't be mm-hmm. a horrible thing. Like, maybe a series, because like you know how likely every single MCU character would fight for gay rights. Well, like, that is their only agenda. Like, they've only ever wanted to, like, fight against, like, hate crime and, like, uh, attend, like, pride rallies. To, to kind of shit like that. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Well, the Young Avengers have two notable gay uh, Avengers. It's Hulkling and Wiccan. For I one, actually Jeremy's am. Jeremy's very excited for Wiccan to appear. But I'm just like... Let's steer clear. Let's let's uh, put off our glasses, our rose tinted glasses for a second. Like, take it with a grain of salt. Like, I'm not too excited because I know they'll probably fuck it up somewhere. But yeah, they just don't do gay right. Because yeah. uh, straight people are right in this shit. Yeah. Well, like that's what I'm saying though too. So like, if so, a straight person's writing Captain America cool uh gay person's right in captain america you're probably more likely to see someone who's gay that's not actually gay in like the comics or something like that it doesn't even matter if they're gay or straight you just need to get a writer that understands like taika watiti did a show called uh this flag means death and it's a basically a gay pirate show like Blackbeard's gay for this one character, and it just runs very fluently about their characters and One Piece. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Basically. it's a love layer to the gay stuff in One Piece, right? But it doesn't matter if they're gay or straight. It's just people who would understand the the theme of it, which is like I don't know, just like subtle gay themes that everyone kind of experiences growing up like loneliness or wanting to fit in right (laughs) it's like not every gay person's like all about like being prideful it's just not how they're coded you know i feel like i see what you're saying yeah it it really does just take the person but like someone who's like 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 a director's agenda to um like it sounds awful kind of saying this shit because like it's not like it's bad to push like gay rights gay um i don't want to say like awareness i don't fucking know like (laughs) i just want to say like oh watch out guys he's gay like no but like like, it's where, where am i even fucking going with this it's not bad that it's happening it's just the way that they're doing it feels forced it doesn't feel like 
like the actors are all in on it it feels like they're like hey today you're gonna be gay or like okay like no like that's i don't like that i like someone who is not like kelly if you were to be in a movie and your character was gay like i'm sure there'd be no fucking problem a lot of stuff that you would do would feel like natural because you're just playing you like that's fine mm -hmm. uh you but you put a straight person and a gay person's shoes and it's like oh i would like to kiss this girl right now smooch i'm gay like no <laughs> <laughs> yeah like it's not as natural exactly don't cast straight people in gay roles the only person that can do it is stanley tucci that's it but <laughs> i don't think we should stop people from playing different roles it's like okay we have like a muslim character we can only have muslim writers write this character it's just whoever's fit for the role just do it you know what I yeah mean? it's just like when it comes right. to well like that's another thing too like ethnicity well, it's like, just the lack yeah the lack of actually having um the rep the correct representation like the black um face way back yeah like years, you can't have you know? fucking chris evans play as the black panther like it's just that doesn't make any sense like you're yeah, taking it's... the whole you're taking a very big point of the black panther out he was one of the few if not one of the first uh black superheroes that had existed at his time so mm -hmm. it was like it was a very big moment for uh, African Americans, so like for having like someone like more uh, light skinned and less of the culture would just say wouldn't make sense as the Black Panther, right? So his name's a mm -hmm. little bit on the nose, but that's the only <laughs> grip I got about him. That is something I notice <laughs> about every single goddamn black superhero ever. There's Black Lightning, Black Panther, fucking uh, Black Adam, Black Adam. <laughs> Which I'm pretty sure is like Puerto Rican actually, but I don't know. Well, no, he's Egyptian. Yeah, he's Egyptian. Yeah. Which is oh. still black. Which is, yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Anyways, we can move on from <laughs> Love and yeah. Thunder, guy. <laughs> oh my Dude, god. So Love and Thunder. Topic. started with Love and Thunder. Holy shit. Oh, anyway. also, he's suddenly skinny again. Thor. Yeah, I I noticed that too. He's also wearing one of Star Lord's jackets, but it looks like he like cut off the sleeves. I think he's Is supposed he to be a Thor? Ravager now, kind of. Hmm. No, he's right. supposed to be wearing Rocket Pants on, too. True. I didn't have a problem with uh any of that but at some point it looks like the guardians just dropped him off which i hope is like the very beginning of the movie mm. like after that look at who you love talk i hope that's the very beginning of the movie like they can't take it anymore yeah that'd be great that'd be so fucking funny <laughs> like mm. just to see a little cameo because i don't think like for love and thunder they can afford the guardians of the galaxy the entire time like this is another guardians of the galaxy movie no. I mean, wasn't it supposed to be as Guardians of yeah, the Galaxy? Yeah, maybe just like Drax. <laughs> yeah. I didn't see Drax at all in that. I also saw Mantis, uh, Fruit, Rocket, Quill. Nebula. Quill. Nebula was there? I didn't even see her. You saw her for a little bit. Yeah. I still don't think... Ooh, you know what? I feel like if uh, there's a new Guardians movie, it might be the start of Infinity Warp. Uh, which is where Gamora uh, comes back. She doesn't come back in the comics, but she basically gets the Infinity Stones together, snaps, and instead of erasing everybody, she kind of combines them into one person, therefore reducing the population, but two souls are in one thing. So in Infinity Warp, in those comics, uh, there was Moon Knight and Spider-Man, there was uh, spider Knight, and then there was uh, Hulk Widow or something like that. Green Widow, Green Widow. Green that's Widow. Name. Yeah. So, like, that's uh, that could be, uh, like, maybe, like, a series? Like, a what-if series, maybe? I know there was, like, something about mm. the Infinity Stones. I haven't seen What If, so don't say shit. But, like, I think... You haven't? Well, what are wow. you caught up on? I what I've heard you're not. Pretty much nothing. I watch anime. <laughs> <laughs> Watch YouTube and anime. 
Um, and TikTok. And TikTok. Lots TikTok. of that. Mm-hmm. Um, anyway, so I'm just going to shut the fuck up. I'm just going to talk about yeah. Love and Thunder right now. Jane Foster being Thor, I did not see that shit coming. I seriously thought they just took her out of the fucking series. Like, where the fuck was she in Infinity War? Like, we literally haven't seen her since fucking uh, Thor the Dark World. Uh, Dying of cancer, most likely. She had cancer this entire time? Why did they break up? Are they going to explain that? I feel like at that point you need an explanation. She would have been the dumbest woman in the world to break up with Thor girl <laughs> honey no <laughs> good dick when you see it like, <laughs> oh, god. it's literally Dude. the god's dick yeah. i guess he's only a well, god he was never name. around <laughs> you get married to that fucker you make him stay around Dude, and the, even he, if he even if he's not around, you still have the title of Lady Thor. Like you're literally, like Jane Odinson. Like what the fuck? <laughs> well, they were banging in the. Oh, that's a spoiler. Never mind. Oh, oh, it's for oh. a show that you have not watched yet. Whatever. They what fucked show? in What If. Uh, like Damn. they. Uh. <laughs> Like they're like, oh, they they woke up in different beds. It's like they fucked. They got drunk and fucked. <laughs> <laughs> they both got tattoos of like, like the things that they like, so <laughs> that's awesome. Okay. I still think that it's weird that she's back in the canon MCU. I mean, especially in the same fucking universe. That's just so weird to me. And the and also like who the fuck is he kissing? Like who the fuck is that? Uh-huh. She seems brown and blue hair. You cannot tell me he just got a love interest again all of a sudden. Like, I would be totally, like, happy if, like, Thor just didn't have a love interest the entire time he's in the MCU from now on. If Jane Foster's uh, back, she better have a damn good reason. She loves Thor? And she got thunder? She broke up with him! And then they did. get back together. That would piss me off so much. That would I would love to see that. I want to see a good love. You are pissing me story. off with saying... You can't even see it. I'm pointing at my webcam. You in particular are pissing me <laughs> off. If you're telling me that's why it's called Love and Thunder. I swear to uh, fucking uh, God. Uh, Probably. Um, Guess uh, we'll have well, to I'm watch it. Pretty sure Love is going to be a main theme of the movie. And Thunder is because... Of Maybe it's... someone's name is Love. Shut the fuck up, Alyssa. <laughs> Someone else's name is know. Thunder. <laughs> oh yeah, this is Love and this is Thunder. What the fuck? Oh. Also, just I wanted to point this out. Um, they were at like five different locations in the trailer that I saw. It looked like the fucking Quantum Realm. It looked like Little Asgard. It looked like the fucking pentagon and it looked like <laughs> space just straight space oh space makes sense yeah. right for thor it does because thor's got like a uh, in the comics he's got like this giant viking ship that he uses to fly just to plant to planet hmm. what that's that sounds cool. sick as fuck yeah what yeah i want to see that have you guys seen his new outfit his new thor outfit uh, like Isn't said, it like a lot more gold? Just... It's yellow and blue. It just does not. He's like a Chargers blue? fan or something. That it looked cool. Was in his like, aesthetic silver and red. Red, yeah. Mm-hmm. Hector was saying that uh, Thor looks more like Thor than Thor does. Jane Foster looks yeah. like Thor more than Thor. Oh does. yeah, I was just saying that. Uh... Um, she has the OG helmet. Oh. Like, like with the half head covered with the wings. Yeah. Yeah, and he like never wears that. Right. And then see you. only like a little. Because well, his face wore... is too pretty. He wore it in the first one for like two seconds, and then he wore it in Ragnarok as like a futuristic version of it against Hulk. Did he wear it in the first one? Yeah, he did. He was flying in with it, and he was like holding up his hammer and victory or something like that, and uh. he took it off at some point. And his ego was its highest. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Damn. Oh, yeah. Right, is it a, are you guys excited for it? Is it a must watch? 
I'm excited. I think so. Right? I'll yeah. watch it. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I think this is like could definitely shape to to be even better than Ragnarok, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, that'd be cool. Ragnarok he's the first. Good. He's the first character to get his fourth movie. His fourth True. Movie. Yeah, I thought wow. about that. I didn't realize that. Wow. Wow. Yeah. I I was thinking about that too. I think it's really interesting how he got the fourth one. Iron Man didn't end up doing that. I thought Iron Man for sure would get the F. fourth. Because he got like fucking two of them immediately and then a third one like right after Avengers. So. Yeah. Fucking. So something I hope I don't see in Love and Thunder is him losing something again. I swear to fucking God, this man He's had a hard room. enough he time. He's had to lose his virginity. <laughs> <laughs> You know, mm-hmm. Kelly, I oh, don't think that? you're right about that, but <laughs> <laughs> it's so, love and thunder. They gotta, they gotta make love to the sound of thunder. I don't know, man. Their love makes thunder. I don't know. <laughs> Their love is so electric, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like sparks thunder fly in them cheeks. <laughs> oh, fucking god. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, my god! He's sitting it from the back, and like it's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think that would be pretty. I like I said, I just don't want to see him like lose anything. Like, just have him like pretty much like be OP against whatever villain he's against. And does just... you really have anything else to lose? <laughs> Unless Jane Foster fucking dies. <laughs> god. Uh, they're Having... fighting a god killer, so they're fighting like Kratos. Basically. Oh boy! What? I mean, he's a god killer. Valkyrie's not gonna die because she's like a diplomat. Which also, I'm thinking about that right now. Why? Why is it like a side story, or are we gonna be on Earth at some point? Uh, she's in Asgard. There's like a tourist like thing going on in New Asgard. Hmm. Mm. And well, she's okay. like, I don't want this because she's a fucking warrior. And she, right. she's like, I, I need a, I need a right hand lady. So, I don't know. Yeah. Good for her. God, yeah. I hope it's Captain Marvel. I really don't want to see a new lady. Yeah, that would be kind of weird yeah. to like pull her out of thin air, I guess. But like, still, Captain Marvel. <laughs> Get her settled it- down. She'll probably. Does it have to be a superhero? Like, can it just be be some other person? It would be kind of... Sorry, continue. It'd be boring if it wasn't. Like, you're a superhero yourself. Would you want to settle down with, like, a non-superhero? Yeah, why not? Yeah, I feel like that wouldn't be horrible. I mean, mean, Thor and Jane Foster were a thing. Spider-Man and Mary Jane. Iron Man and Pepper. Nice. Never mind. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, if she gets bored with her life as like the king of Asgard because she's not getting action, do you think she would want that from a couple, from a person, too? Was it because she's bored of life? Maybe, yeah. Maybe she wants like someone like as strong willed as her. Maybe that's what it is. Like she wants someone that's like <laughs> tough, like gritty. Mm-hmm. And I guess Captain America fits that fucking mark, whatever. I still feel like uh, it would be kind of weird for like them to meet for like the first time, sort of the first time they met in Infinity War, but like, or I mean in Endgame, but like, it'd be weird for them to be like, eh, you're kind of cute actually, and then all of a sudden like they're just together. Like, that's that's kind of weird. Like what the fuck? We didn't even see Captain Marvel in the trailer either. Like. Uh, no, she'll probably most likely be a surprise character if she's ever in it. I feel like that's all the Marvel movies are turning into now, and it's kind of sad. Like, I like cameos, but I don't like them every single fucking movie. Like, just talk about this one character. They're make it or break it. I'm aching for a cameo in Moon Knight. Wait, who, who, who's cameo? Any cameo. cameo. Bring a bitch He's... in. Make it interesting. <laughs> Is it really that boring? To me, it is. Yikes. <laughs> so don't watch Bye. it. Got it. You can sk- Let me know if it gets better. Yeah. Check out check out the first two. Mm. Or What's at least on? the one. They're they're kinda long. It's on Disney. Oh, okay. 
Uh, just a quick question before we uh, continue with whatever we're going to do. How long are we trying to make this? Like an hour, an hour and a half? What are we feeling? We got a bunch of... We have a lot more. We have a lot. I'm feeling an hour and a half. I'm fine with an hour and a half. It's just... Right now we're at 55. I just want to let you guys know. What are your thoughts? We don't have to do the next one. Which is what? On the list. I can't see the list. I'm on, on Streamlabs. Multiverse. Oh. I can't have another tab open. Yeah, we've been talking about Marvel <laughs> this entire time. I honestly forgot time. what I wanted to talk about with It's the Marvel show. Yeah, we're we're saying, saying, I'm sorry. Let's give Marvel a break for a bit. I want to talk now about other shit like what's a show that started off amazing and just went to shit for you guys? Game like absolutely times. amazing we already yeah. talked about fire force fire force yep wait what did kelly say game of thrones really you didn't like the end of game of thrones no one liked the end of game of thrones what are you talking about it was very mm-hmm. rushed the directors the writers they were given guidelines but they kind of ignored it to speed up things how many seasons um, was it like seven eight, or eight. eight. Something, something around there. But I think they were in the talks of doing something for Star Wars. So they were like, let's hurry up and finish it so we can fucking do Star Wars. Wow. And it's just, it shows because the characters it's... are fast traveling. Like plot lines don't make any fucking sense. These abhorrent villains are getting killed off by people you do not want them to kill. Um, it just and it's funny you bring it up. I'm rewatching it right now. You're rewatching uh, Game Jason of Thrones. Jason Momoa. It was <laughs> so, so good. <laughs> I love Game that of man. Game of Thrones was like the peak television back in the fucking day. You know, you mm-hmm. look at the golden age of television. Game of Thrones was at the highest. Where do you think it, it like dropped off though? It dropped off probably in the last season, the last or the okay, season yeah. before. So that it was one. super great the last until the very rushed. last season. Yeah, a lot of people yes. said that they didn't like the last season. Plausible. Mm-hmm. Uh, another one that I understand. I know about. I'm not sure if it ended well. I don't even know if it's over. Honestly, I know nothing about this fucking thing. The Walking Dead. Oh, it's uh, not over. <laughs> it's seriously it's not? not over. No, there's that still show going. has been going on as long as the fucking Simpsons at this point. Jesus Christ! And all the original characters are gone. All of them. Um. It's like the office. Yeah, Maggie's the office. Right. I think Maggie's still in there. Man. Oh, the mom? Maggie, the country girl, Glenn's oh, wife. Oh, yeah. She's yeah, in I, there. Daryl. Daryl's still there? Daryl's, I think Daryl's like one foot out the door. Mm-hmm. Yeah. See, that's what I kind of no, liked about seeing the Maggie. Shows. You see, that's what I liked about CW shows, uh, Hector. You remember how Vibe uh, got rid of his powers finally? That's how you know the actor was leaving. He wasn't going to play Vibe anymore. He's like, I don't want my powers anymore. Like, you're oh, just leaving yeah. the Flash. Like, I already know. You just, you just say that. Like, the mm-hmm. actor's done. Like, Which whatever. sucks, because I liked Cisco. Yeah, Cisco is cool. He fucking... Dude, Gypsy. Her name was Gypsy. Remember that mm-hmm. bitch? Oh, my mm-hmm. God. <laughs> Hyped. Cisco doesn't know what he missed. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, anyway. the Flash was only good at the beginning, too. Yep. Any CW show. Riverdale, Arrow, Flash. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> my God. I loved Riverdale so much. I bought a fucking Serpent's backpack. And then the, the next season came out. <laughs> And it was so shit, I did not finish it. <laughs> I was so pissed off. <laughs> song sometimes. Yeah. Archie was, was like, like in and out of jail. These kids are running the town. It's like... There's yeah. like a I drug outbreak. It went supernatural at some point. Like I think after, I think the third or fourth season, they started like actually having like ghosts or like demons or something. Yeah, that game thing. Uh, was... something in Gargoyles? Griffins yeah. and Gargoyles. Yeah, that's yeah. the season I was like, fuck this. This is weird. 
there was uh, another thing that is still going on because it was just announced for season four was Stranger Things. I'm not sure how that's going. Mm. I, don't I, I never got I don't into know it. I'm excited about the new season or not. They waited too damn long. No one's interested <laughs> yeah. in it. I forgot it was a thing mm. until, like, I have a little uh, demigorgon, I think it's called, right? I have mm-hmm. that, and her name was Eleven, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I have, like, a little tiny figure of her, like, pushing the Demogorgon against, like, a little chalkboard, and it's, like, supposed to be, like, a book stand. It's pretty cool. Uh, I have it literally right here, and I forgot what it was from. (laughs) Fuck. (laughs) Yeah, I I forgot. I totally forgot what it was from. Like, I look at it all the time, and I'm like, hmm. (laughs) Cool. And then they announced Stranger Things Season 4, and it's like, oh, yeah, that's still going. So it's like Rick and Morty though. Rick and Morty definitely killed off for me, honestly. Yeah, like, it's I'm still not even good. Hi- I'm not high. It's I'm sure it's all right. I'm just not high as nearly as hyped as I was. Like, oh, who's evil Morty? Who's all this? What does all this mean? Like, where, where's Beth? Like, it's. I think it dropped off when Morty became more cynical. Yeah. I liked it when he was like, oh, okay. Kind of a little shit. Not a little mm-hmm. shit. Like just a and dumb. Now he's like pessimistic and just like i'm tired of your shit rick it's like <laughs> it's not fun to watch. i, I kind of like it like they really have a more like family love thing in the new season the fifth season i like how Morty like, oh, I love you, man. Let's, has come let's... to his senses like rick kind of just uses <laughs> him so i think it's good that Morty has a character development where he like stands up for himself that's kind of cool yeah. i don't yeah. like how like in the last like four episodes i don't even know if that was this season was the crystal thing this season or was that last season like where he had the little crystal in his forehead last. so in that, he meets like the love of his life and then <laughs> it gets reset that was sad as shit and then oh. jessica becomes a time lord and now she's just out of the show because they're not going to be together because she's a time lord and then there's yeah. fucking uh miss planet or some shit like that that got abused as shit by her kids and now she's gone or or something like that i can't remember i think he had to break up with her like it's just sad seeing all these love interests for morty that would probably be a cool character like every now and then just gone like it's literally just such a false hope thing it's so sad like how many times can we just break morty's heart (laughs) it's sad yeah That's summer, show business. Summer remains my least favorite character. Yeah, fuck Summer. No, actually, fuck Jerry. <laughs> Jerry I hate Jerry. Jerry doesn't do anything <laughs> wrong. He does everything wrong. Yeah, he's a shit husband. I think he's actually trying, but it's not his fault that his wife's uh, father is like a crazy scientist piece of shit that always likes to undermine him. Yep. Mm-hmm. But then he tried to rebound with an alien, like to compensate for that. It's mm-hmm. like, Jerry, come on. I mean, he did, he, though. Didn't he end up piping? He did, what? but it was just to get forget Beth, I think. Yeah, but also, like, Rick sleeps around the entire universe. He slept with the Unity and a fucking planet. Like, it's not like, it's not like yeah. Rick is any better than Jerry. Rick took a uh, summer on, like, a fucking interspatial orgy bullshit i like forgot i haven't seen that entire episode but everyone there is like feeling pleasure because he's so cringe that they like they like the pain of his cringe or some shit like that and that's that's what's getting them off no and that's something else oh Oh, it was like the hell hell uh that was the hell episode yeah no it was like are you talking about the the sex dragons no. No. Uh, you know, like the who's that villain called? Pinhead. It's like the Pinhead guys. Oh, the fucking uh, like Mad Max so episode. Is that what you're talking about? Oh. Well, yeah. No, it then was... we are talking about the same one. In this season, where they went to like that orgy place, and then Jerry was there, and they're like, "Jerry's so cringe. It gets me off." Like, I don't think well, so. the one just says... I'm talking about is like, um. But Rick and Summer, there was like three different planets that were having three different types of apocalypses. And just Rick and Summer like went to all three of them just to like fucking party because the planets were going to party because they knew we're all, they were all going to fucking die. 
and on either all of them or at least one of them it was just everyone having a big fucking orgy with each other and like on the ship ride there they were like oh man i'm gonna eat so much ass i'm gonna be like Aah. and like yeah i, I, I just think it's weird that rick's having an orgy with his granddaughter yeah well it's the fucking family dynamic i mean there was that one episode like season one or two where they went through uh the teacher's mind like summer was in that orgy part. Mm-hmm. That was weird. <laughs> a lot of weird Can stuff. Can we like talk about American Dad when like the daughter Haley, she was like dating like a clone version of Stan. Or or mm. there was an episode where they made Steve think that he was dreaming, and he just went up and made out with his sister and said, "I'm doing what we've always wanted to, sister." And it's like, oh, okay, well, hmm. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Um, wow. They watch a lot of porn. Yeah, a lot of mainstream uh. stuff. Too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, shit, I don't even know where to fucking go off of that. What was the topic that we started with? Oh, yeah, shit. <laughs> TV uh, shows that went to shit. Right, right, right. What's, uh, what's another yeah. one for you guys? I've named a few. I think we've all named a few. Family Guy, Simpsons. Yes, uh... yes. Mm-hmm. I already know Green Arrow and Flash. Yeah, pretty much anything CW. Ops except for Burgers fucking... kind of got boring. But they're coming out with a Ops movie. Burgers. A movie? Yeah. There's a Ops Burgers next movie. month. Yeah, comes out like next month, I think. What you know it fuck? stayed true its entire run? King of the mm-hmm. Hill. King of the I... Hill was glorious Breaking its entire bad. run. Everyone always says that I've Breaking never bad seen... Good. I have never once seen Breaking Bad, but everyone keeps saying yeah. that it's just this, like the pinnacle of TV. They do not slope down, and they are like... It's like, it's good in its entire fucking run. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But that's not the topic. Bad shows. <laughs> Ooh, New Girl. Season 7 sucked ass. Yeah. You know what? Jeremy's final stepmom got referenced in the very first fucking episode. Rebecca what? Johnson. That pisses me off because I hate that bitch. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that's why I do not want to... That's why I, every time I see it on Netflix, I get so, like... But her, because I'm like, she does not deserve it. She does not deserve it. <laughs> but yeah, great show. Other than that, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking, uh, I don't know if it started off good. I kind of wish I watched it when it came out. Uh, I Carly, the new one. I forget. I don't even know if they call it. <laughs> the new it's one. Like... Uh. I don't think it's that great. It's like Fuller. It's like Fuller House or like That's So Raven. Like they just brought back old characters, mm-hmm. which is fine. It's just I don't think it should have been anything more than like an episode. <laughs> like just like a hey, this is where I'm at now. Still alive. Yeah. <laughs> Still living here. Uh, <laughs> things change. Well, see, Carly at the end of iCarly went to college, and that's why iCarly ended. And also, I'm um, sorry because of, yeah. So at the very end, uh, she either chooses to stay in Seattle, I think it was, with her brother and continue making iCarly, or she and miss out on her dream school, or you know, go to her dream school. Oh, so I guess it didn't turn out as good. Yeah. Nope. I mean, yeah. it kind of did. I don't think her brother even lives in that apartment anymore. I think she like bought it, it back is. or something. He does. He's oh, he's in... he still owns it. He's rich in the new season. Oh, did he like open a gallery or something that he left? Because I know he was like an artist. He, he's just rich from being an artist, and he still has that apartment. And like, it's just like more modern. A bit. Freddie uh, got yeah. divorced. Has a daughter. Got An adopted divorced? daughter that hates him. What? Um, yeah. Carly has yeah. a neighbor that they talk. It's that one lady. Harper. 
Harper. Um, Sam's I'm not glad existent. That, yeah, yeah, Sam's not in it because Jeanette McCurdy wouldn't go back. Yeah, which is reasonable. It, but like, what the fuck happened with Fred? I thought her, I thought him and Sam's character got together. Is that what the? Is that what happened? No, they broke the up. They broke up in the old show. Yeah. Oh, I thought they were together like till the end. Mm-mm. I don't think so. Well, shit. They were like, man, we we don't. Because like, didn't you, Carly don't and really Freddy? Work. Didn't Carly and Freddy have a thing after Sam and Freddy? Right. Mm, that'd be awkward. Mm-hmm. I don't think so. It it was, it was like a it was like a really short thing. It wasn't like a relationship. Yeah. But there like was a like short something. but sweet. Like I'll kiss your nose again or something. <laughs> yeah, it was something real gay. That's still kind of fucking weird that, like, uh, he's fucking divorced. That's pretty real. Yeah, His mom's still around, which I fucking love. I love his mom. I hated her. (laughs) She reminded me of my mom too much. Do you remember remember that episode where, like, they tried to get Spencer and Freddy's mom to get together? Oh, yeah. That was such a I weird because like Spencer was like so uh, like insanely younger than his mom. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like she were, they were just throwing together some cougars, and then there's another episode where they try to get that mole guy to date his mom. Oh yeah. Oh. I forgot his name. Was his name Bert or something? Lubert. 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 <laughs> yeah. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> Lubert. It's a stress right. ward. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't know. Um, wow, that finishes my topic. Yep. Anyway, does anyone want to talk about uh words that you have to say in a specific order, like peanut butter and jelly, or diamond and pearl? Like, if you say jelly and peanut butter, kill yourself. Like, mm. is there any words that like have to be said in a specific order for you? Um. Kind of same topic. Like when you're talking about family members' houses, you usually say like if it's like your aunt and uncle's house, you say like one person's name before the other. Right. Exactly. Oftentimes. Yeah. Like you can't say that. Yeah. Like dad and mom. Yeah, that doesn't sound right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Um. I don't know. I mean, I water bottle, bottle water, bottle water, bottle water, <laughs> containing her laughter. <laughs> she closed I'm her eyes. I'm sitting at like, my desk right now. On my like, phone charger, charge your phone. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> mouse and web. keyboard, keyboard and mouse. That's yeah. Mouse that goes either way. That one. That, that one. That's actually like an exception. Yeah. That feels a little bit fluid either way. Uh, Netflix mm. and chill. Diamond chill, and Pearl. Yeah. And Ruby and Sapphire. Um, I thought you were going to say Ruby say and Max. <laughs> <laughs> Max and Ruby. Ruby and Max. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I don't um, think people will say diamond and pearl as is. Yeah, well, I, like with the Pokemon games, know. that's that's the only one that I like. That's why I said ruby and sapphire too. Like ruby and sapphire um, and diamond and pearl. It's like the Pokemon I mean, black and white. Well, that's just also the name of it. You also I mean, say Taco black and Bell. white. Yeah, black black and white. Bell. Like, well, that's it, just like a company name. Yeah. Company? Diamond and pearl is like the name of yeah. like the two games, so they're not gonna call it anything else you know, it's two yeah. separate pearl. games though there's yeah, so like, diamond and there's pearl yeah so you don't oh. say oh i love playing pearl and diamond you say i love playing diamond and pearl yeah but they're not the same game it's not called diamond and pearl it's one of them it's is diamond the one of them is pearl. except for a couple except for pokemon. yeah except for a couple of pokemon yeah whatever we can fight about that later but still <laughs> like if you're saying that you play them you say oh i love diamond and pearl you don't say i love pearl and diamond mm-hmm you just sound wrong. Also, for those who think it's Arceus or Arceus, it's Arceus. I looked it up. It is, in I fact, Arceus. I think anyone Arceus. had that issue. There's a lot of people that called him Arceus. I'll wring your fucking neck. 
Uh, tough guy over here. <laughs> Don't bring up Arceus um, around this guy. <laughs> bring your <her> fucking neck. <laughs> oh my god. Right. Um, uh, nail. Black and white, I think, is a good one. Like aside from the st- fucking Pokemon games, like oh, just right. regular things, like people don't usually say white and black. Yeah, like for like photography, like it's a black and white picture. It's not white and black, or like tattoos. Right. It's a little uh, weird to see white and black. A right stick and poke. <laughs> poke and stick. Yeah, yeah, that's actually not a bad one. Stick and poke. Yeah. It's not horrible. Yeah. There's also um. Animal Crossing, kinda. Like, why would you say crossing that's animals? Just, it's the name also of the game. Also the name of the game, so I say it different anyways. Right. I don't know. Uh, uh, it's a lot of things Ooh, with Oh, raining cats and dogs. I guess that's the term that's, like, popular, but it's popular. Yeah. Cats it's... and dogs, not dogs and cats. That's yeah. true, yeah. Cats and dogs. Dogs and cats. Get the fuck Men out. and women. Uh, hamsters and birds boy and girl i've never heard of that Mm -hmm. it is interesting how for a lot of instances it's the man first but then for mom and dad it's mom first adam was created first so i guess he beat her to it came from his rib (laughs) look what we sacrificed Uh, and for what Alyssa sucks i did not Um, You're just homophobic. Yeah, that's why I have two, three fucking, well, sort of three fucking gay people in my podcast. Pretty homophobic of you to be straight <laughs> in 2022. Actually, I want to be caught dead straight. Yeah, come on, that's that's old. The comment section will be blasted. You're straight, <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> I trusted you. <laughs> Actually, I'm super straight. <laughs> oh. Yuck. <laughs> yeah, no. Do you guys think that's a legitimate sexuality? Fuck no. I don't think no. So. What is what even is super straight? Is super straight it's like, like not dating anyone on the spectrum? Like strictly yeah. female. Strictly yeah, strictly like, cis hetero women. Interesting. Like, so like you're not you can't even like, like you can't even like think like Ryan Reynolds would be hot or something. Is that what super straight implies? I think so. Yeah. Damn. Maybe, yeah. Well, yeah. You know, I am absolutely straight then. A <laughs> 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 wink. <laughs> yeah. Actors over there just thinking about all the men need butt fuck. Whoa. <laughs> oh whoa. I think oh, he would. A blast. Man, I didn't at him. I mean, I said Ryan Reynolds, and his face was... Mm-hmm. It went, it gave Everyone it loves that man. That perfect man, except for uh, Kelly. Speak Fuck you, for Kelly. yourself. I think his wife is ten times better than him, though. I oh, love Blake, Blake Lively. Lively. Oh, I want her to play the role of a vampire so fucking bad. I would thirst for her. <laughs> That's a up. fantasy. Yeah, definitely is. Damn, I want her to play a vampire where she like, comes in my room at night and like <laughs> sucks me up. Sucks me up. <laughs> sucks, sucks yeah. <laughs> you know, oh. Kelly. Something I've never asked you since you're such a fucking big Laura Croft fan. Um, oh. What did you think of the Tomb Raider movie, the most recent one? I've seen it in theaters, and I was like, this is not accurate at all to the game. Uh, it feels like there is a bunch <laughs> of, like, different aspects from different games, like Shadow of the Tomb Raider and the other one. The one it, was mainly the... Incur- it was mainly inspired by the first Tomb Raider. Mm. But they just swapped a lot of things around. Um, for no real sense, I don't know why. But here's what it is. I like Alicia Vikander as Lara Croft. I think she'd make a cool. She did Lara very Croft. good. I think so. 
I think she did very well playing the part that she was given, and that just makes me feel a lot better, like, with, uh, like how you're saying, a more accurate Tomb Raider. I don't think the series is going to go anywhere, but it kind of set itself <laughs> up for, like, a sequel. But that was in, like, 2018, I think? 2018 or 2016? Like shit. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, pretty, it's pretty old now. Um... But yeah, I, I, that, and also I wanted to say this to Kelly, anytime me and Hector are playing Elden Ring and there's just this big ass ladder, which there is a huge one. And then when I was playing through last night, I just start singing, Snake Eater. <laughs> I don't know how it goes, but I just feel, Snake Eater, yeah. <laughs> I'll and I'll that one. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Mm. Glad I have the influence over you guys now. Yeah, it was, it was pretty fucking That's a weird. Sticky friendship. <laughs> Do we have one right. more uh, topic to squeeze in? Go for um, it. We got like ten minutes. I want to pinch off a new topic. <laughs> pinch off. All right. Okay. Favorite era, favorite decade, favorite time of place this world has been taken into. Don't go too fucking far because we do not know anything about it. Like the Renaissance, the dinosaurs. Yeah, dinosaurs. Hmm. No, so it has to be like in the last hundred, hundred fifty. You can say cowboys if you really like cowboys. Women knew their place. Oh shit! Uh. Yeah. Um, oh, we're dismissing that. I, I will rebuttal that. when we are off of stream. <laughs> when we are not on podcast time. <laughs> oh god! I had to take the cheap shot. I'm sorry. Was good. I saw her face. She was like, oh, "This fucking guy." Mm. No, if I men have that. anything, it's I mean the that. audacity. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Um, I'm thinking like 50s or 60s, or Gates either 50s or 70s. <laughs> I think 70s. Yeah, 70s. Drugs is... really popped yeah. off. You know, racism not fixed, but doing better. Mm-hmm. You know. Also, a lot of, like, more gay... Sexual um, freedoms. Yeah, sexual freedom. Well, that was, was... like, a lot due to, like, Freddie Mercury and, like, Elton Mm -hmm. John, right? Um, Or was that the 80s? Or No, that was the 80s, right? So, I watched a documentary on, like, gay stuff in the 70s, and that's, like, when it started peaking. Because back Mm -hmm. then, before AIDS, everyone was like, whoa, sex is so healthy, we gotta keep doing it. So mm-hmm. everyone and their mama was having gay sex, and like it was like, <laughs> and like the fucking this patient zero, this guy right, he came, he was like a fl- like a flight attendant. I think he got AIDS from a different country, and then he brought it to the United States, and then like fucked like a thousand dudes with AIDS. Fuck, damn! I think he fucked like four people. Because I he had like a black book full of a thousand guys he fucked. And Jesus then... wow, Christ. We're pretty easy, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> All you gotta like I feel that's that's Hector, if a dude walked up to you and said, Hey, you go somewhere real quick, like what would you do? Like would you be flattered? I'd be flattered, but I wouldn't be down. Like, how would you turn him down, though? I'd, I'd be pretty fucking hard for me to turn him down, not gonna lie. I think I'd be too flattered. I'd be like, oh, so me? Me? Jesus. You'd uh, be the bottom, though. I mean, if he wants. I mean, he's the one who offered. Oh. <laughs> he offered, I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know. You say a lot of sh- sus shit, man. <laughs> for being straight? I don't think so. You just me said you're and Kelly, straight. I swear to God, yeah. me and Kelly are like swapped. I say the think gayest shit of all time, gay. but he's the one who simps over all these female superheroes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, women are hot. 
Yes, they are. <laughs> that can't be history. ignored. Mm-hmm. Uh, sorry to continue your thing. You said there's like a huge peak in the 70s for gay pride. Yes. So in the 70s, uh, people were more liberated with their sexualities, men and women alike. But in the 70s, that's where gays really peaked. Yeah. Um, but like, like right after they discovered like their sexuality and they're more free with it, AIDS came in and fucking smacked the shit out of them. So it put everyone in fucking fear. It made gays look bad to the public. Like it was not addressed until the 80s that AIDS was existing. So a lot of people fucking died. Like it. I don't when, you know. started, when you started saying like AIDS appeared, all I could think was in the Fire Nation attacked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The gays are happy until the Fire Nation attacked. <laughs> Only the avid, the avid queer. Only Freddie Mercury, <laughs> master Freddie Mercury. of <laughs> master of gay butt sex. <laughs> Oh, that's I would have to say the seventies. That was right after Vietnam ended in seventy five. The whole gay stuff. Yeah. Movies were cool. Good music. Black exploitation movies were cool. Cool chrome cars. And the drugs. <laughs> this is out here with other priorities. <laughs> <laughs> She's itching her arm. The drugs are real, real cool. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking face. <laughs> Mustaches were super manly back then. You could probably pick oh. up a lot of people with that. I'm growing out my stash. I love the fucking, like, YMCA gay leather daddy mustache. I'm trying to grow that out right now. So it has that as a name. Holy shit. That is... It's the handlebar mustache. The handlebar, yeah. I liked your first name better. What? I like the first YMCA. name. YMCA. Leather Why daddy, leather daddy. Oh yeah, I like, I like that a lot better than handlebar. <laughs> well, uh, my favorite era, I genuinely kind of want to say. Um, I only want to say this because of like Assassin's Creed, so it's kind of hard to say because like you would just have like a lot of fun because you know how shit would be, but if you were like back there and have no idea like i don't know you'd be shitting in a bush yeah so it's really hard to say anything that's not like i guess the 2000s really good tv shows i guess Mm. the style the style was the style a lot of flames i'll say that um but i mean i could i could set i could set the tone see if i know since i know how the 2000s were i can dress appropriately i could be wearing that same hoodie right now honk you could warn (laughs) 9-11 right right god where would we be right now you know we'd probably have uh tomb raider 2 what i don't think they're related I mean, nine eleven happened, and we don't have Tomb Raider too. So, like, <laughs> you narrowed it down to that, okay? Isn't it like what band is made because of nine eleven? Was it Nickelback? I don't think it's Nickelback. I think, I think it's like a punk rock band, like Fallout or no, I'm pretty sure some it's shit. Yeah, no, I think it's because they sang like "Where Were You" or some shit, right? Well, it was know. in I'll protest of right like now. Bill Clinton or something, or George Bush, something like that. Like Bush did nine eleven or some shit. I don't fucking know. Mm. I think it's been long enough to talk about it. I think it was Panic at the Disco. I think it's Panic literally... at the Disco. There's no fucking way. It's <laughs> Panic at the Disco. I refuse to believe that. <laughs> Panic at the Towers. <laughs> <laughs> Panic at the Pentagon. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> <It's so good. laughs> He's He's oh my fucking god! <laughs> you know, with that, get the panic. <laughs> is that okay to say? It's been awesome fucking. To say. Thank it's you. been 
It's been twenty one years. I think it's I think it's been Okay, yeah. <laughs> Mm. I can't <laughs> find it. I swear it's Nickelback. Wait up! I I, I can try to look it up again really quick. Uh, oh, My might... Chemical Romance, maybe. Oh, uh, seriously. Gerard no Way watched the Twin Towers fall on nine eleven, which inspired him to start My Chemical Romance. It's... Which oh, which inspired Stephanie Myers to write the Twilight series. Whoa. So if 9-11 didn't no. happen, we wouldn't have a Jacob Black saying, Bella, where the hell have you been, Loka? <laughs> we were so close. We were so, we were so All close. we had to do was stop a terrorist attack and then we wouldn't have gotten a shirtless, sparkly vampire. <laughs> what the fuck? Twilight like was, band was an interesting band. movie. Do you think Spider-Man would have stopped the t- the Twin Towers? He would have been holding them together like the fucking train scene. Oh my fucking god! Wow. <laughs> He's like just wins all over the place. Like hold it. I don't know how he'd fix that. Could he use his spidey senses? He's like uh... Iron Man would. Yeah, how the fuck would he stop the plane, though? Like, he'd have to, like, do it from the ground and, like, somehow hit the plane. Like, he's not gonna hold that with his hands. Well, Spider-Man's given, like, a lot of bullshit things to do. I mean, Stopping if he was on plane. the wing of the plane, he could do, like, the rudder, like I think he did with, uh... Yeah, he did it with, uh... What's his fuck? Uh, Vulture. Like, how he, like... And all the, the people inside die? No, there was nobody. It was an automated plane. Okay, but I meant in this case scenario, the plane was in not plane? empty. And 9-11. Well, I mean, it still would have prevented the towers going down. So I think as long as, like, the towers mm-hmm. didn't go down, there was, like, a chance. Plus, you could have landed the plane in the ocean, which might have resulted in less casualties. It's And it was New York, so it was right there. So, like, there's a good chance, like... Why are we talking about this? Why are we talking... What the fuck? This is a what if Spider Man not only existed but prevented the fucking 9 11. Like, <laughs> calm down. This is out of hand. This is pretty fucking out it's of hand. out of pocket. Shit. Oh, um, man. You're fucking anyways, wrap there. No, that, this, just shut the fuck up. We're going to talk about Good. circumcisions oh. and areolas now. Jesus Christ. Uh, okay. All Might, right? All, Was yeah. the. All Might. All Might. Yep. Circumcised um, and large and veiny. Dude, absolutely. Very. Yeah, absolutely. Veiny. Oh, 100% veiny. veiny. Mm. I think he's a big old muscle like, man. But then when he's all weak. When he's, he's weak, got he's real... got big dick. But when he's big, he got shrimp. I feel, like, I feel like that's why he wears like sweatpants. Like, even when he's weak, that shit is hung. Hung. It's probably got a built-in vibrate feature. Shit. <laughs> yeah, Jesus I think he is perfect. <laughs> In bed. <laughs> I am here. Yeah. She's uh, like, I'm gonna come, and he's like, because I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's like, uh, duh. Quit talking. <laughs> 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 do you think his like pubes look like his hair when he's weak like it's just got like the like the pubes are like <laughs> sticking up or down whatever it's like <laughs> I, I, think so. I think he'd be clean shaved i don't know mm. yeah. i think so i think so um, well. all right now carrie fisher i still have little a little this. tiny Itty bitty. Itty bitty. I agree she with those two. Itty bitty titty committee. I agree with the yep. both of them. Um, I just feel awful talking about a dead chick's titties. You were just talking about 9-11, so... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what, Hunk? You fucking... You just it. said, uh, fuck the people in the plane. <laughs> yeah. I didn't say those words exactly. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Um, you know, that's unanimous. Who's next? Uh, Kelly, you choose. Yeah. Hmm. 
You can do a mix, you can do all fantasy, you can do all real. Um, I'm trying to think of a character we all know. Oh, it doesn't have to be. I we'll think for you, maybe we'll look do it up. Maybe Faye Valentine. Let's do a Cavi Bebop theme. Let's do Spike and let's do Faye Valentine. All right. All right. Do we, wait, do we, we do their before we do before we do Spike? Are you sure not Shinji? Like, did we ever actually see his dick? Shinji's fourteen. We are not touching that. No. Carrie Fisher's dead. All right. And not throw Harry. up. At it. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, it's Spike and uh, Faye Valentine. All right, guys. Thank you for listening to this episode of Camping Buddies. We're sorry about last week, by the way. Uh, you could blame, honestly, you could blame everyone. We were very busy last week. Yeah. Um, but we will see you in the next one to talk about dick and balls. Bye-bye. Woo! Bye. See ya.